my god, I hate my life so much. I don't like this one. I hate my life. And right now you're at a point one six six. Okay, okay so, so right now you, you right now you're under arrest for DUI. While these adult film stars have captivated audiences with their steamy on-screen performances, they're about to confront the harsh reality when they encounter law enforcement. It all unfolded on Thanksgiving morning in 2022 when a Tampa police officer pulled over an erratic driver, Chloe DeFata, whose antics rivaled even her most sensational on-screen acts. Hey, how you doing? Moss Bay and Tampa Police Department. Is everything okay? Yes, sir. You, you know why I'm stopping you? I do not know. You, you're kind of all over the road back there. You're turning real wide. You're stopping past the stop bar. Is, is there anything going on with, with the car? No. Um, I live at the Heron up here. I'm just going home. Okay. Are you, do you have any kind of medical issues or anything like that? No, sir. Okay. Where are you coming from? Um, Ebor. We yeah. had, yeah, I was picking up from Ebor. Okay. Do you have your license with you? I do not. I have my registration. I don't have my license on me. Okay. Do you I have apologize. a license? I do, yes. Okay. I just don't have it on me. I apologize. Okay. Yeah. Do you have your registration then? Do you have I any ID at all? Not on me. No, but at my apartment I do. Okay. Okay. Do you want my registration? Yeah, if you got it. All right. Yes, sir. Here you are. All right. So, so you're not living on Nuremberg anymore? No. That's my mother. Okay. I moved up to the Heron up here recently. God, I've never moved. So you have nothing with your information on it? Not on me right now, no, at my apartment as well. Okay. All right. What's your name? Chloe. Spell it. C-H-L-O-E. Last name? Tafata. Same as uh, your mom's? Yes, Marissa. What's your date of birth? 10-12-03. Do you have a middle initial? S. Suzanne. Okay, just hang tight for me. All right, yes, sir. Despite the information Chloe provided, the officer remained skeptical of her sobriety and proceeded with field sobriety tests, sparking escalating tension. Right. Can you hop out real quick for me? For what? So I can talk to you outside here. I'm sorry. All right, step back this way for me. All right. So, where exactly were you coming from? Uh, over in Ebor. Anywhere in particular? Or? I was just picking my friend up from the club. Okay, so you you were just picking him up? Yes. So you didn't go inside any club? No, sir. Okay. Okay. Do you have any medical issues with you? No. Do you take any kind of medications? No, sir. Okay. How much have you had to drink tonight? None. Not a drop? Not a drop. Right. Would you mind if I checked your eyes as part of field sobriety to make sure that you're okay to be driving? Uh, for why? Well, right now I'm concerned because I can smell some alcohol coming from your breath. Okay, like I, have like I not. said, you're telling me that that you you just went to go pick your your friend up from the club. Yes, I did, sir. Based on your clothes. All right, yeah. I went out to dinner before I picked him up. Sure. Yes, sir. Sure. So that, right now I'm I'm concerned about your level of sobriety based off your driving yeah, pattern and my contact. I will tell you as much as I am perfectly fine. Thank okay. you so much. And that, that's why I would like to check your eyes to kind of ensure that I'm, you're okay. I'm all right. Eyes. Thank you. Okay. Though. Okay, here, here's here's what's going on. Okay, like I said, I've been following you for a good little bit since you were at Nebraska in seventh. Okay, so as we went down Nebraska, right. you were above the speed limit. You went well over into the bike lane. You went back over into the other lane. You stopped past the stop bar on to uh, I believe it was Scott back there. Right. Made a wide turn onto um, Twigs. Made a wide turn onto here. Uh, in my contact with you, like I said, I'm smelling some alcohol from your breath. Uh, I'd like. I have not drank any alcohol tonight. Well, I, I would like to check your eyes to kind of ensure that you're okay to be I driving. I can tell you right now that I'm good to be driving my car. Sure. And I live right down the street, right, right. here at in, the Heron. Sure. And in, in my in interaction with you, I'm seeing some indications of impairment. So I'd like you to do. I'd like to at least check your eyes to ensure that you're okay to be driving. You don't have to do it. It's up to you if you want to do it or I not. Know, I know. Thank However, what I'm happens good, sir. if you don't? What happens is it puts me in a position where I have to make a decision to arrest you or not based on the evidence that I've seen thus far. Wow. Yeah. So that's, that's why I'm trying to give you the opportunity to kind of, Gosh. you know, prove some of my or dissuade some of my sir, suspicions. Sir, I will tell you right now that I am good to be driving back to my apartment right now tonight. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Sure. I'm going to my mother's house tomorrow. Sure. So, I have not been drinking. I am good to go. Okay. So, 
I don't know what else to tell you, sir. Okay. So, so would you mind if I checked your eyes as part of field sobriety? You may, you may check my eyes. After conducting an eye check, the officer determined Chloe needed to undergo further tests, but she vehemently refused, leading to her arrest for DUI. Yes, sir. Do you wear glasses or contacts? I do. I have glasses. You don't have them on right now. Do you have I contacts in right now? No, I do not. Okay. I lost my glasses. Put your feet together for me. Yes, Hands sir. down by your side. Can you see my light right here? I can. Okay. You just go ahead and put your hair behind your face. Yes, there sir. You go. All right, what color is my light? Red. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this red light from side to side. What I want you to do is focus on the red light, follow it with your eyes and your eyes only without moving your head. Yes, sir. Okay? I'm seeing some things in your eyes that's going to be a little concern as far as your level of sobriety. If I could do a couple other field sobriety exercises, would you be willing to do them for me? No, sir. Okay. I feel like I've done enough. I, I need to go home. Okay. I gotta go to bed. I want to go make sure my cat's good and go to my mother's tomorrow morning. Okay. Yes, well, sir. I, again, let me let me just kind of uh, again advise you what what where we're at in the kind of proceedings here. Yes, um, I'd like you to do the field sobriety exercises. I can't force you to do them. It's up to you. No, if you I hear do them that, and I get that. If you don't do them, like I said, it puts me in a position where I'd have to make a decision to arrest you or not based on the evidence. I understand that, that sir. You are terrifying the out of me, if I'm going to okay. be honest with you. Well, I mean, I'm not trying to be. I'm trying to you know, I wanna, be courteous to you. I want to go home. Sure. I want to go to sleep. Sure. I want to go to my mother's tomorrow. I don't know what else to tell you. This is taking up time. I want to go to. I want to go to bed. I've had my like. I've had enough to happen tonight. Sure. So, so let me just again ask you one more time. Do you want to do the field sobriety exercises or not? No, I want to go home. Since Chloe declined to participate in the sobriety exercise, the officer made the decision to bring her in for DUI. Regrettably, this marked the onset of significant chaos. Stop. 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 Put your feet on your back. Stop. Stop. Stop, please. Listen. Stop. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Relax. Can you stop doing that to me, please? Please. Okay, I will do your whatever test. I will do your test, sir. Sir, okay, I will do your test. Yep, please. That, that, the horse has already left the barn for that. Okay, right now you're being arrested for DUI. Okay, I'm going to ask that you submit to a breast sample. It's going to measure the amount of alcohol that you have in your system. Sir. If you don't, Sir. there's some penalties that'll go along with that. Sir. Namely, your license will be suspended for a period of six months. For a period, I'm sorry. Sir, can I just do? Can I just do whatever you need me to do? I've already asked you. You told me no multiple times. Uh, so come back this way. <laughs> six eight one ten fifteen. Um, Female for a search. Can I grab my phone? Or what? I'm gonna grab it for you. Okay. Here, grab a seat. Can I do anything? Inside the police car, Chloe's behavior escalated into a full-blown meltdown, yet even her tantrums couldn't alter the judge's decision to detain her. <gasps> I'm so sorry, Mama. I'm not gonna be there no more, bro. <laughs> oh my god, I'm at Chloe, you really are. You really gonna do it? You gotta be fine. What's up, man? So here's what's going on. Okay, she's getting arrested for DUI. Okay. You're free to go. If you want to call an Uber, call a friend to come pick you up. That's gonna be your best bet. Okay. I just okay. need the keys to get inside of the building. Um, well, let me let me let me clear that with her first. I'm not saying no, but let me make sure that she's okay with it. I got you. I got you. Uh, her phone is with me. Well, her phone's gonna go with her. Okay, okay. Um, so, tell you what, is this, is that her wallet right here? Yep, yep, that's okay. her wallet. Her key is in order for me to get into the house. Let me hold the keys for a second. There if she, go. if she okay as you go, get and taking the key, I'm fine with that. Completely okay. Uh, and then, uh, is this like a book of release type of deal? Or no, so gonna... what's gonna happen is she's gonna have to stay for a minimum of eight hours from the time of the arrest. Yeah, you know, I know. I so know. it is... Four in the morning. No, that's actually wrong. It's actually three. Oh, three. So, 11 a.m. would be like the earliest that okay. she could get out. Okay. Okay? Yep. Just let me know. Do you have any property in here? Uh, I do not. 
Is this your wallet? No, that is hers. Okay. If you could just do me a favor and just kind of hop out and just stand on the sidewalk for me, though, yep. I would appreciate I, uh, that. Not okay to take the vehicle? Sure no, I mean. sir. It's going to have to get towed. Okay. okay. As she was transported to Orange County Jail in Florida, Chloe's hopes of reuniting with her mother and cat faded as she provided a breath sample confirming her intoxication, leading to her booking into custody. God damn it. That's not even my fault. <laughs> It's not even mine. Oh my god. I'm oh my god, I hate my life so much right now. Y'all like this one has no idea how much I hate my life right now. Oh god damn. I'm Officer Baden of the Tampa Police Department. I'm now requesting that you submit to a lawful test of your breath for the purpose of determining its alcohol content. If you refuse to take the test I've requested of you, your driving privilege will be suspended for a period of one year for a first refusal, or 18 months if your driving privilege has been previously suspended, or if you've been previously fined under Florida Statute 327.35215 for refusing to submit to a lawful test for your breath, urine, and blood. Additionally, if you refuse to take the test I requested of you, and if your driving privilege has been previously suspended, or if you've been previously fined under Florida Statute 327.35215 for refusal to submit to a lawful test of your breath, urine, or blood, you'll be committing a misdemeanor in addition to any other penalties which can be imposed by law. Refusing to submit to testing is admissible as evidence in a criminal proceeding. Do you understand that? I do, yes, sir. Will you provide a breath sample? I will not. Okay. Chloe ultimately faced charges of DUI and driving while suspended, with a judge ordering her to be held without bond pending her initial hearing. Chloe's demeanor may have hinted at entitlement, but the next individual in our narrative was no ordinary case of drunk driving. In a shocking turn of events, she would soon find herself implicated in the tragic demise of a University of Idaho student. And right now you're at a point one six six. Okay. okay, so, so right, now you, you right now you're under arrest for DUI. In the early hours of February 12, 2023, officers from the Pullman Police Department in Washington observed a 2009 Toyota careening erratically along the road. What began as a routine traffic stop would ultimately unveil a far more sinister connection. Hello, Deputy Miller Sheriff's Office. Hello. Driver's license, vehicle registration. The reason we're chatting is running the red light. Oh, my, was it red? Mine was green when you cleared the intersection. Oh, my bad. I thought it was yellow when I went, so I'm sorry. It was yellow when I went. I'm sorry if it turned red. What does yellow usually mean? Go slow. Yeah, because it's changing. you got to come okay. to a stop. My apologies. I'm sorry. Okay. You're correct. Do you have your vehicle registration? Yes, I do. Where are we coming from tonight? Oh, just the um, over in Emporium. Okay. Pullman. All right. How much have you had to drink tonight, Emma? None. You've had something. Some? Yeah, you've had some. Not enough to drive. Okay. Hop out for me, would you? Okay. Is your buddy is your buddy in the back seat? Okay, there. He's just head bobbing over there. Oh no, he should be fine. Off, you can leave it run for them. Okay. Got your, your stuff fell off. There, just so you're aware. Sorry, my head came fell off. Okay. Just come stand right here for me. I'm just going to knock those lights down for just a okay. minute. They're super bright. <laughs> All right. So the reason I ask is I can smell odor of alcohol coming from inside the right. car. Okay. So I want to make sure you're okay to drive. That's, of course, of course. So I can't tell if it's you or if it's the them volume. that's been drinking. Right. Right. right? I see you're wearing a wristband. Where's the wristband from? Emporium. From tim timber. Timber. Okay. We're going from Emporium right now. Okay. Have you had any alcohol tonight? I have. Okay. How much have you had to drink tonight? One beer. How long ago? At like 8, 9 p.m. Okay. At Timber here. And okay. then I was driving them to Emporium, and then we came back to Timber to get their car. Okay. Would you mind doing some voluntary field sobriety tests of to course, make sure yes. you're safe to drive? Yes. Do you have a jacket by chance? 
I have it's one chilly out here yes. and it's going to take a few minutes. Yes. You, you can put your jacket on if you want okay, to. Thank you. Upon exiting her vehicle, Emma was promptly handed her jacket before undergoing field sobriety tests, which she failed, indicating a significant level of inebriation. Uh, we're going we're gonna to step up here on the sidewalk. Okay. That way we're out of the road. Okay. So, like I said, these are all voluntary. Mm -hmm. uh, have you had any head trauma in the last 24 hours? No. Been in any car wrecks or anything? No. Okay. I'm going to have you put both feet together, hands at your side, and I want you to remain in this position while okay. we do this first one, okay? Do you wear contact lenses or glasses? I do not. Okay. You see the tip of the pen right there? Yes. Can you follow it with your eyes and your eyes only for yes. me? Is it okay if I blink? Yeah. Okay. So for this next one, we're going to its uh, imagine a straight line out in front of you. Okay. Your left foot's on that line right now. I want you to right. put your right foot in front of it, touching heel to toe, just like I am right now. Okay. Can you do this for me? Keep your hands at your side, and I want you to remain in that position while I explain and demonstrate the next test, okay? okay. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. So you're going to take nine heel to toe steps down that line. You're going to take a series of small steps to turn around, come back the way you are, and take nine heel, nine more so nine heel steps, then turn around. Yep, and then okay. nine heel to toe steps back. It's going to look like this: one, two, three, and so on. Go ahead and get back in that position for me. There you go. Okay. So you're going to take nine steps. I took three. When you get to that ninth step, you're going to take a series of small steps around your lead foot, and you're going to take nine heel to toe steps back. Following her failed attempts at the initial tests, the officer determined it necessary to administer a preliminary breath test to gauge the extent of Emma's intoxication. The results surpassed expectations. So the last one is called the preliminary breath test. It's not in lieu of the evidentiary breath test. It's like blowing up a balloon. Deep Correct. breath in and blow out. Okay. All right, deep breath in and blow. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. So you gotta blow hard, okay? Not okay. super hard, but. My apologies. So I've never done sense? this before, so. Right, and that's what I'm trying to explain to you, so. Okay. You gotta have a consistent, consistent like pressure that? out, okay? Okay. Deep breath in and blow. There you go. All right, how old are you? 22. 22. Okay. When's the last, when, how long ago was your last drink? About an hour ago. Okay. I left from Emporio. I'm supposed to be DDing for my friends here. Okay. If you had to guess, well, what is the legal limit? I have no idea. It's 0 0.08. What does that mean? Because you're over 21. What does that mean? And right now you're at a 0.166. Okay. okay so, so right can now you, you tell me what that means right now you're under arrest for DUI. Okay. I'll explain everything to you as we go. Is anybody in the car sober um, to drive? Yeah. Okay. The one in the back right seat was head bobbing, barely keeping his head up. Okay. All right. So first things first here, I got to read you your rights, okay? So right now you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney during questioning, and if you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you prior to questioning if you so desire. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights, not make any statements or answer any questions. Do you understand these rights? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just so you're aware, I am recording as well. Okay. I'm recording. Do you, do you have anything in your pockets? Is there any pockets? No, I have okay. nothing. All right. So... What does a DUI look like? Like, I don't understand. Like, we're, I've never I've never had a DUI, so I don't know. We'll explain all that when we get there. So we're going to go to okay. Pullman Police Department, and that's where we go through the DUI process, okay? So we're going to go back here to my car. Go ahead and have a seat there. Is this your car? Yes. Okay. Once Emma was taken into custody, the officers proceeded to remove her companions from the vehicle prior to her transport to the county jail for further questioning. So, the can I ask you something? Sure, you can ask whatever you want. She's going to jail. That's correct. How much is it going to get to get her out? Does she have a prior DUI? Can you tell me? I, I don't know. I haven't looked. Has she ever been arrested for DUI before? No. Okay, absolutely so not. So I'm surprised she's getting arrested right now. Just be She's honest. like two times the legal limit. Um, yeah, she's twice the legal limit okay. right now. So, okay. Okay. Uh, so it's... 
It's five hundred dollars for bail. Okay. But you can use Paul sixteen. Right now. Still out. Well, not right this second, but so I, like tonight. I, yeah. At some point she'll be in cold bath. Here's so can what I my, get her before here, she goes to cold bath. Here's my suggestion. She's licensed and clear. Okay, so my partner is going to give them a ride back to their house, okay. and my other partner is going to park your car in the parking lot right here, Okay. and then he'll bring me your keys. Well, what happens when I park? He's just going to park it here so it doesn't get towed tonight. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay? So it just stays here until I figure it out? Or? Yep. Okay, perfect. Let me move the car and give you the keys. Okay. Uh, I thought you were just going to bring them over. That's fine. You're fine. Just don't fall down and... Okay, no. Can I, can I just call them? No, that's sure. Okay. Sorry, I've never been arrested. Uh, you're okay. Really Thank you. I get that. Emma was subsequently booked at the Pullman Police Department. I have an itch in some place that I can't get. Uh, I, the handcuffs are annoying. I get it. I appreciate you for being so, you know, understanding and, you know, accommodating. So, here's what we have to do. So, we're going to go through what's called the uh, DUI packet. Okay. So, there's a lot of stuff to read. So I'm going to work on reading that to you as we go through this, okay? okay. Uh, let me get it opened up here. Okay, first things first, because we're in here now. Mm -hmm. I know I read you your constitutional rights out there. Of I have course. to read them again now that we're inside here, okay? okay? So right now you have the right to remain silent. You have the right at this time to an attorney. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. If you are under the age of 18, anything you say can be used against you in a juvenile court prosecution for a juvenile offense and can also be used against you in an adult court criminal prosecution if the juvenile court decides that you are to be tried as an adult. You have the right to talk to an attorney before answering any questions. You have the right to have an attorney present during the question. During the questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you without cost if you so desire. You can exercise these rights at any time. Do you understand these rights? I have a question. Okay. So the juvenile versus the adult attorney, whatever you just said. Okay. Can you repeat that again? Uh, so that would be if you are under the age of 18, anything you say can be used against you in juvenile Court okay. prosecution. That's what I had a question on the juvenile part. What what did you bring that up for? Or well, it's it's part of the rights. So I so just it's, I it's read. If I'm a juvenile, right. So okay. I, I just read, didn't understand that part. My yep. bad. I read top to bottom here. One of those right. included is the juvenile portion of it. Okay, that was my question. You're not under the age of 18, so that one Correct. would not apply to you. Okay. However, it's part of the form, so I read it. Okay, thank you. Emma was subjected to additional tests before being formally charged with DUI. Um, do you have anything in your mouth right now? I do not. Okay. Can you open your mouth for me and I'll yes. look? Tongue up. Perfect. All right. Zero two twenty one. Okay. So the next part of this is what's called implied consent warnings for breath. So warning, you are under arrest for RCW 4661-502 or RCW 4661-504. Driving, oh, hang on, let me back up here. I skipped a part, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> In reference to the constitutional rights, you acknowledged that you understand your constitutional rights. Correct. This next portion here says, I understand my constitutional rights. I have decided not to exercise these rights at this time. Any statements made by me are made freely, voluntarily, and without threats or promises of any kind. Could you, like, say that? I, I don't quite understand what that means. Like, okay. Could do you, you understand? Do you want to talk to an attorney right now? Is that what that means? Yeah. Could you do, read this to me again? Do you want to exercise your rights at this time? That means the, do I want to talk to an attorney? Correct. Okay. So that's what this is, uh, what you're, what by saying by reading this and signing here, it's saying right now you do not want to exercise your rights and speak with an attorney right now. What is the difference? I'm sorry, I don't know if you're so, the person to ask or not. But I, I, can't, I, so never I cannot. This, so. I cannot give you legal advice. Okay. okay. I can reread things that are on this form, but I cannot give you legal advice. What can you tell me? What would happen if I 
did or did not talk to an attorney? Uh, if you want to speak with an attorney, I'll call one and we'll go in that room and you'll talk to an attorney on the phone. Are they available at this hour? Well, yep, 24 hours a day. We always have an on-call attorney. Despite her assertion of never having been arrested before, Emma was released from jail on a $500 bail. However, just a month later, she found herself thrust into the spotlight as a prime suspect in the overdose death of University of Idaho student Caden Young, whose lifeless body was discovered on March 21, 2023. Notably, the reasons behind the dismissal of drug charges against Emma and her alleged accomplice, 36-year-old Demetrius Robinson, were clarified on May 23, 2023.